Yo, Elliot, quick question. How do you decide what gift to give to your woman? What do you give your wife? Well, I give my wife a life. I give my wife everything. Everything I have is hers. Uh, my wife doesn't expect anything from me. Like Valentine's Day is coming up and she don't expect anything from me. And I don't expect anything from her because we give ourselves to each other. Her greatest gift is right here. You're looking at it, right? And she knows that and she appreciates that. A lot of people think that like I might be oppressive or something. Like if people will comment, oh, I feel bad for his wife. But if I put my wife in here right now and I tell, I say what I'm saying, she watches my videos. She's my biggest fan. So she sees the things that I'm saying. So she would assert, yeah, he's, I, I don't need to give her anything because I've given my life to her, right? Till death to us part. What more could I possibly give you, right? She's given me generations of hope. Children, right? I dropped the seed, obviously. She carried and bare these children. We are gifts to each other. That being said, I still do nice things for her. So for example, right? And this is totally by accident. We're having a problem with our hot water heater that we take showers with since we moved to this house, right? And, and we've had other things that needed to be repaired, like big problems. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of money has been allocated is like fixing leaks on the roof. There's just stuff, right? This is an old house. But I know that she would like to take nice hot showers, but we're taking lukewarm showers and it turns cold real quick, right? Within 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, we're like, we got to take quick showers. And one of the things that we enjoy, especially with this new house, is that we shower together. My wife and I shower together. We've showered together for decades, but we have two, two shower heads. And so it's really nice now. And we shower together and we know we're in and we're out. We got to go. And so for Valentine's Day, and it wasn't even for Valentine's Day. I was just going to get it anyway. But I told her it's for Valentine's Day. So she laughed. I have, I have a plumber here right now. Actually, he just went out. I, maybe he's finished. Is replacing the hot water heater with a, uh, a tankless, either a tankless or he says he could repair this one if there's something wrong with it. So he's up there doing that right now. Costing me a few hundred bucks. You know, if I have to get a tankless, it'll cost me a thousand or so. But like that, I just made that up as a gift. What her 40th birthday passed, her 42nd birthday passed. You know what I gave her? The house, this house. I didn't give it to her because it was 42nd birthday, but it happened to be close to her birthday. I was like, hey, this is what you're getting. And then she's happy, right? I was going to fix the hot water heater anyway. And I make a joke and I'm like, hey, it's your Valentine's gift. And she laughs and she likes it anyway. The, my point is that and I learned this from my dad, too. My dad was funny, man. He's like, I don't buy you stuff because I'm supposed to. My dad was adamant that my mom's not getting anything on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and my mom would like, she would complain a little bit. She's like, oh, the ladies at work get flowers, right? Their husbands or whatever sending flowers. My husband don't get me nothing. But my dad will literally show up randomly with, a, with an amazing gift. He'll just, he'll just show up one day and he'd be like, hey, my wife, I wanted, to, I wanted to give this to you. His whole thing is, I wanted to give this to you. Not you want me to give this to you or I'm obliged to give this to you. He's like, I want to give this to you. It could be just random any day of the year. And he'll do that. And, it's just, and I've adopted that. And my, fam, my wife has adopted it because my, both my parents are that way. And so... I want to give her hot water. I want to give her hot water when she showers. It's a basic thing, but that's what she gets. She gets hot water. So that's what she can get for Valentine's Day. My wife likes practical things too. It's like a long joke, like, you know, because the media is feminist. And so, you know, they make jokes about a husband who like buys a vacuum cleaner for uh, their wife for, for, you know, like a gift. My wife wants a vacuum cleaner. Like she wanted a vacuum cleaner. There was a special vacuum cleaner she wanted. And she was like, I want that vacuum cleaner because it will help me clean up the house better. You know what she gets? A vacuum cleaner. It's practical. What else? <laughs> anyway, most of the gifts that I give her or she gives me are practical. And they're things that we're going we're gonna to use anyway. Here's the other thing too. And this is for both of us. We have a hard time getting each other gifts because, well, quite frankly, we have everything we want. And if there's something I want or something she wants, she just goes and get it. 
again, you know, maybe I sound like I'm contradicting myself, but I, you know, I, I do things differently. And, you know, a lot of people take my abrasive way of speaking as, you know, I'm some, some kind of oppressive, tyrannical man in my home. Well, that's not the case. My wife, first of all, has all my money. We don't have separate bank accounts. These people with like separate bank accounts. I don't get it, right? From the, from the time we got married, even before we got married, we had together bank account. Now, I don't advise everybody to do this because some people are crazy. But she spends whatever she wants. If she wants new shoes. She just buys new shoes. She don't have to ask me. But she knows that's a fruit of my labors. She don't take that for granted. If she want to buy a new dress, she don't have to come and ask me. And I don't need to go buy it for her. If she wants a thing, she goes and buys it with my money. Because my money is her money. But I'll put this out there too. She's grateful. She don't take that for granted. She is always saying thank you. Randomly saying thank you. You know what, you know what one of the greatest random gifts I get is a random thank you from my wife. Just a random thank you out of nowhere. She'll just look at me and she's like, I appreciate you so much. I love you. Thank you for giving me a great life. That's what she said. This is the literal words out of my wife's mouth. That's the greatest gift to me. Thank you for giving me a great life, she says. Thank you for giving our family a great life. This is what my wife says to me. I don't have to buy her special gifts, right? I've given her a great life. So, but I know that sounds, I know that sounds contrary what a lot of people think is the right way well anyway so that's my opinion on that dude hope that helps <laughs> done yo it's your bro elliot i hope you enjoyed that video if you did you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent king transformation classes with my students where among other things we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness business and with women if that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.